What is good YouTube, what's good you guys? We back again with another reaction video, man. And so we're gonna be doing Lil Baby, My Turn, 20 tracks, and now we're long right here. The features in this project right here include Gunna, Future, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Wayne, Money Bag Yo, Young Thug, some artists right here that I actually never heard of named Rilo, and 42 Doug I've never heard of as well. Let's see how this project is gonna be the way, bruh. Get Ugly is the first track, two minutes and 36 seconds on. I have heard of Lil Baby um, before. Of course, we did do the reaction to Lil Wayne Funeral where he was actually on the track I Do It featuring Big Sean as well. I did like his flow. I did actually like the combination between these um, three artists when it came to Wayne, Weezy, Big Sean, and Lil Baby. I didn't actually expect that to work because pretty much different generations right there, but it actually meshed pretty well. And I did like that track. I feel like that track is definitely a hit. I'm actually not aware if they're actually playing it a lot on the radio when it comes to that track. But it's definitely one of the best tracks when it comes to the project from Wayne. Even though it's actually kind of different from some tracks I did enjoy on that project when it came to like... Um, what was the name of that track? Fuck, I keep forgetting. Uh, Mahogany. That's actually one track that I actually do enjoy a lot in that project. But either way, this is definitely a newer artist right here. Let's see how it's going to be, bruh. Let's get right to the track, Get Ugly. How's this going to start out here? Yeah, his flow is very heavy on the auto tune. Okay, so that was the first track. If you're not familiar to his music when it comes to Lil Baby, he does have a very, very heavy auto tune used to his voice, but sometimes I actually feel like it sounds a bit more heavier on the auto tune when it comes to certain tracks compared to others. But for example, right here, it actually did feel very heavy, but it didn't actually, um, how do you say, like avoid me from actually understanding what he was saying. Um, at certain points, I do feel like with certain artists that it does actually happen in the case of Future, um, Lil Baby sometimes, but most of the times I understand what he's saying either way. The album cover right here has some goats, bruh. Is he trying to say he's a goat? That's tough, I'm not sure, but it probably is. The second track is gonna be Heating Up featuring Gunna. Okay, flowing for Hey. It sounds like hot from Travis. Damn, gonna going crazy right here. Yeah, gonna, gonna destroy that shit right there, my guy. Gonna went crazy on that B. Lil Baby was do was doing great, but when Gunna came in, that shit was that shit was nasty, bro. Then he kind of switched his flow a bit at the last part. Yo, Gunna went crazy for sure. Better track than the first track. Let's see how this um how the third track is gonna be right here. How's the third track? So far, I do actually enjoy the, um, the last two tracks that I did listen to, Heating Up and How Better Than The First Track, Get Ugly. This had more of a show type of vibe. It was more laid back. I did like the way he approached this track. But when it came to the second track, that has to be my favorite so far. But like the combination between Gunna and Lil Baby is always great. The next track is going to be Grace featuring 42 Doug. Doug. That's kind of a funny name. I ain't going to lie to you, bruh. But either way, I've never, ever heard of that artist right there. Let's see how this track's gonna be, my guy. Let's get right there. Hey. Hey. 
to me. Thoughts when I try when the buzz, if they do, I'm a buzz. He's a reach for no change. I made a promise, I'm never gonna change. Rolls on the umbrella, I'm hoping it rain. Yeah. I call it a cutter, I just bought a new whip, I went bought another. My mother, she had to not be lately. I'm a heavy hitter like Javante Davis, that shit ain't gonna save hey. me from on the payment. Bitch, that like shit, that's more than I get. That little twice had me in my fence. 42 Doug sounds different. 42 Doug sounded really, really different. Like, I wasn't expecting his flow to be like that. I did actually like the way he started it with that Mike Tyson reference right there. Um, heavy hitter that even um, Lil Baby did a reference to, like, heavy hitting when it came to mentioning Javante Davis. Um, But at the same time, I'm not sure if I actually do enjoy the feature from 42 Doug. But there's so many different type of names at this point when it comes to rap. It's like 42 Doug is a name I wasn't expecting at all. At all. But either way, when it comes to the feature right here, not sure if the combination is specifically what I wanted to hear. But Lil Baby killed it. Like, the flow was amazing on this track for sure. Without a doubt. All right, bro. I've listened to Whoa way too many times. So, live off my closet. Featuring Future right here. Too many tangles. I Hello, fast way. Either this track was sped up or the flows were hella fast right here. Cause damn, they, they actually never stopped. The track just kept going and going right there. For some reason, I actually couldn't tell at first if that was Future starting the track or if it was Lil Baby. But then I was like, no, that's actually Lil Baby right there. Cause then when I listened to Future, I'm like, okay, that's, that's definitely Future right there for sure. That track was hella fast. Like, damn, I gotta like actually listen to it again because the flows were actually great, but at the same time, like I just have to listen to it one more time to see if I actually enjoy it more than some of the tracks right here that I that I already listened to. But either way, let's see how this is gonna be right here with the same thing. That's gonna bounce right here. You know you're doing well when you tell somebody to Google you. That's tough, my guy. That's tough. Massively different the way he sounded right here compared to the sixth track, Live Off My Closet. Like, like I said previously, I couldn't even tell at first if it was Future or him, but right here, same thing. He sounds incredibly different. Um... The beat is definitely different. It's not as fast and it's more bouncy. It's like more of a... Um, I always struggle trying to define it like that because for some reason I think about... when it, Whenever I listen to a bouncy beat, I think about like a happier track. But it's definitely not like a automatically a happier track. Maybe it just has to do with the melodies of the chords and like the actual sound. But Live Off My Closet definitely is faster either way, however you want to say it. And um, he sounds very, very different on the same thing. But actually... I actually think I do enjoy more live off, live off my closet than I actually enjoy the same thing. I don't see nobody but me. Who am I gonna lose to? That's tough for sure. Lil Baby actually has some tough lines right here at some points in the in the tracks. Sometimes you might focus a bit too much in the flows and not listen, but he definitely has some good lines right here so far. He said I never call myself a goat, but at the same time he's got the goats right here, my god. That's tough. You got it right here on the album cover. Lil Uzi. Let's see how this is going to be with a little Uzi right here, bro. Commercial is the next track. So far, I think the only tracks I didn't actually enjoy 
as much compared to the other ones. Maybe same thing in Get Ugly. Like, compared to the other ones, those are pretty much at the bottom of my ranking so far. Don't think I've listened to Uzi, my baby. Oh shit. Who's he can flow so easily, bruh? I don't feel like people give enough credit to Uzi when it comes to how easily he can flow on different type of productions. Like, I've listened to him on so many different type of tracks and just... His flows aren't the same all the time, but, like, you can actually tell he actually has a variety of flows. And right here, he definitely spaz right here for sure. And Lil Baby 2, actually, this this track might be in my hype on my... Higher on my ranking when it comes to the tracks I enjoy so far. Yeah, a whole lot of fast flows right here. I really wasn't expecting that many fast flows on this project. Um, Weezy just went crazy when it came to his flow on his track, Forever, um, Salam Forever right here. Baby, compared to Wayne, Baby had the lesser of the two verses, but when it comes to the hook, the hook was very catchy on his track. It was a very good hook from Lil Baby, but Wayne was probably the best part when it comes to this track right here for sure. <laughs> life change not a bad track but i feel like it's a bit too simple for me um honestly not really a track i wanted to pay much attention to just felt like it was basic Bruh. this guy really said la 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 and i'm not carmelo bruh but that's hilarious he says she don't know i know she be fucking my brother not necessarily a big fan of money back yo i do know he did actually release a project recently too um, I think I'm a bigger fan of Lil Baby than Money Back Yo. He said, said she loved me to death, stop breathing. That's hilarious, bro. We gotta get to the Young Thug track, bro. We gotta get to this one. Hey. Don't ask me. 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 Don't Bro, he says spaghetti and some ketchup. <laughs> Young Thug, bro. Young Thug, I'll be telling you guys, like, when it comes to the melodies, the best, the best artists when it comes to the melodies, rapping, trying to combine this type of singing vibe at the same time with the autotune. Young Thug, without a doubt. Um, you could actually say maybe Wayne started that before Young Thug, but listen, bro, Thugger. Thug is the best when it comes to that. And Lil Baby on this track pretty much talked about how he spends millions on his family, try to take care of them. Um, Young Thug did actually talk about feeling depressed at times. 
which was interesting given a vibe of the track. If you don't actually listen to it carefully, you don't pay attention to that. At certain points, he's just trying to talk about his life and his situations overall as well. But the vibe overall from the track is very, very good. Like what you would actually expect from these two. But they actually do talk about certain parts of the of the life and of their family at certain parts of the song. Wow. Yeah, this definitely sounds like a soundtrack right here, um, given blatantly by the name right here from Queen and Slim, it says, but it sounds like something from a relationship type of movie, maybe. Um, not necessarily my favorite track on the project, for sure, but I do actually like the way certain sounds are on the production, but other than that, I actually don't like that much from the track. Let's speed it up, because we got a lot of tracks. <laughs> I remember the first time I listened to a Lil Baby track. It was actually the track he had with Drake that at first it was actually called Pikachu, if I'm not mistaken. It was the first, first track. I think I think I actually have a reaction to that. If I do have it, I will put a screenshot right here at the top. But either way, the track with Drake that I think it was actually called at first Pikachu and then they actually switched the name of the track. Um, that track I actually do enjoy it. A lot. That's the first track I listened to from Lil Baby. And it's crazy to actually think about the progress he's actually made because then the big, big um project when it came to Drip Harder in 2018 with um Gunna, that was actually a very, very big moment right there. Three tracks right here I definitely do enjoy hurting the most. Consistent the second and gang signs. For some reason it actually had a part where he says oink oink on a track that is actually titled Gang Signs. So at the same time, that track wasn't really something I did enjoy at, um, much compared to the other two tracks. But it was actually funny to see a track name like that and actually have an oink oink in a part of the song. But either way, let's see how these last two tracks are going to be right here. So out of the last two tracks, I did enjoy the last track solid much more than I did enjoy the track Forget That. For some reason, the feature of Rilo wasn't really much. Didn't really do that do that much for me. Like, didn't really catch my attention, to be honest. But at the same time, Forget That actually did have a good verse with Lil Baby. But when it comes to the overall track, I did actually enjoy solid much more than track number 19. Um, when it comes to the entire project, the first half of the project is actually much better, in my opinion, than the last part of the project. Um, aside from Solid, some of the tracks, like, I really didn't pay much attention to the Queen and Slim soundtrack. Didn't really enjoy it as much. Gang Signs didn't really enjoy it as much. Consistent wasn't bad, but Hurting was, like, the other best track from right here. Hurting and Solid. Aside from that, honestly, track number 15, the Queen and Slim soundtrack wasn't my thing. Consistent wasn't my thing. Gang Signs wasn't really entertaining like that. So the half, the latter half is, isn't actually as good as the first part. Um, the future track was actually very, very fast, but actually very enjoyable to listen. Not really that long. And when it comes to the Gunner track, probably the best track. When it comes to the 42 Doug track, I didn't really enjoy much his feature either. Um, Lil Uzi killed it, bro. Lil Uzi and Lil Wayne. Best features right there. Lil Uzi and Lil Wayne for sure. And Gunna in future. Heating up, live off my closet, commercial, and forever. The best tracks for sure. Those are the tracks that I did enjoy the most. Let me know down below in the comment section what did you actually enjoy the most on this project, My Turn. He did actually do reference to the, um, to the My Turn title of the project on the last track, Solid.
maybe if he actually did cut down some of the tracks and actually stayed with those features that are definitely going to be big hits because the name of the artist are very big he's definitely going to have still a project that's going to do very good on the streams and he's probably leaving it leaving it very very long because he's used to that already and the streaming streaming number is actually pretty good but at the same time i feel like if he actually cuts it down it's probably going to make a more a much more better project overall but either way that's going to be it bro i do like the album cover right here with the goats little baby my turn my bro take care